What is going on, people? Rainman90 here, bringing you another gameplay and commentary. What is up? You're watching COD 4 Modern Warfare Uno, the game, the Call of Duty, who created Rainman90. This game got me started. But I'm not going to talk about this game, I'm not going to talk about the gameplay, and I'm not going to talk about COD 4. But I am going to talk about World at War. Now, I probably should be talking about this over a World at War gameplay, but right now, honestly, I do not have a World at War gameplay, and I want to get this off my mind, off my chest, and I want to know your thoughts. I'm pointing at the microphone right now as if you can see me, as if I'm sitting here talking to you. But you can't, but I'm just letting you know what's going on. I'm pointing at the microphone. I'm talking to you. So here's what's going to go on. Now, here's what's going to go on. Here are my thoughts, and here's what I want to see happen. If you hear me sniffle, guys, I apologize. I'm stopped up. I've been under the weather the last few days. So that's the story on that. But here's my thoughts, guys. Okay, so, and I know this has been talked about plenty of times and brought up, and you may not have heard it from me, but I know a couple of my buddies who do videos have talked about it before. Here's what I would love to see happen. As of now, the new Call of Duties are coming out. What you got, Advanced Warfare, you got Black Ops 2, or a Black, what is it, Black Ops 3, not Black Ops 2. And you got uh, all these new games coming out. Why on God's green earth have they not made a World at War 2. Think about it, guys. Th that game could be one of the best, if not the best, Call of Duty ever produced by a gaming company. World at War 2. And I know a lot of you didn't get started on Call of Duty until maybe MW3 was your first. I know a lot of people told me, hey, MW3 is my first Call of Duty. I freaking love it. Well, to me, I, I, I cannot stand MW3. I think it's a joke. I think it's hilarious. The gameplay's boring to watch, it's boring to play, and I do play it sometimes when me and my friends get bored and we just want something to play. And I do have gameplay I might post later, but to me it's just, it's just friggin' boring. World at War, besides this, one thing that I absolutely loved about World at War were the old school guns and the maps. The maps were incredible, the blowed out buildings, the, the way... Just the fires here, the fires there, the crash planes, the bouncing beddies, the guns, the trench gun, the shotgun, the old school pump action shotgun. It was just amazing and I absolutely, I loved everything about the game. The graphics, I even loved the sound effects. When you start the game, how it sounds, that little sound effects, it almost sounds like papers throwing up in the air or something, I don't know. It just, <laughs> I love the game. I love the gameplay and here, is why I would love to see this game remade, World at War 2. And it's simple. I love the old school CODs. I love how basic they were. All these kill streaks, like, like you know, even MW2. I love the kill streaks in MW2. But after that, it was like the kill streaks were just kind of. So much time was spent on getting the kill streaks, it's like they, there wasn't enough time spent making the game better. If that makes any sense. This game, COD 4, you got three basic kill streaks. You can't turn them off, you can't turn them on, you can't change them. Everybody has three, five, seven. And that's that I love that. Because in the end, what that does is it produces either a winning team or a really good player. And no one can say anything about it. If you get your tail spanked, the guy who spanked it is the better player. It's not because his gun was better. It's not because he lucked out, lucked out and got an AC-130 and a care package or a chopper gunner or a pave low or he got the MOB in MW3 or he got an EMP. Or It's not any of that. This game to me is Call of Duty at its rawest form. 357 and that's what I love about World at War. The kill streaks were awesome. You got the artillery and the dogs. I mean, the dogs. That I love it. It's cool as crap. You hear the dogs. If they get killed, they freaking howl and bark. And if they kill somebody, they growl at them. And it's just, it's just a lot of fun. And I absolutely love it. I love that. I love the guns in the game. And I honestly, honest to God, guys, 
a lot of people still play this that are legit. You know, a lot of hackers play both, but there's a lot of legit people that play this game and play uh, World at War. And you know what? I think it's because it's so basic and so fun, and the game is actually fun to play. You don't really rage too much playing this game compared to, like, MW3 or Black Ops, at least to me. I don't. So I would love to see World at War 2. Let's make this happen. Give me your thoughts in the comment section. I want to know, hey, do you did you like World at War 1? What would you change? To me, I would bring that game back. I would redo the graphics, make them just a hair better. And, you know, even if they didn't, I would still love it. Let's do 357 Killstreak. Let's not have a choice on Killstreak. 357 Killstreak, everybody gets the same. Just like the old school game, let's bring that back into the new school Call of Duties. I think that would change how the games played. I think it would change a lot. I think it would make people move around a little more. I think it could I could think it could really turn into a huge game. World at War 2. What do you think, guys? Let me know. I mean, honestly, I rather really see World at War 2 than Black Ops 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever may come out. MW4, MW5, whatever. So give me your thoughts. Please, I'm anxious to hear what you have to say. I'm Rayman90, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Putting um, some cool stuff in there. So I finished the front, did a little bit of the roof, came up with that kind of on my own. I know a lot of people have used stairs before the roof, so I'm not the first person to come up with that design, or I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with this building design. But I just thought it was cool getting the door.